Hello my beloveds, you are seeing me bare skin today because I'm showing you my subtle makeup look. I honestly love being bare skin. I feel like in real life I look better without makeup on but on camera I need a little bit of color, a little bit of vibrancy and I just want to seem a little bit more put together. So that's why I do this very subtle, very natural, very minimal products. I've not even applied my skincare uh, for the day, so I'm gonna show you that as well, so you guys get to know, you know? Because sometimes you guys ask me, like, what's your makeup that you do when you're creating content? So yeah, most of the day, I am just, you know, not creating anything. I do content batching, so there are just few days where I record all the videos, and on those days, I like to do a little bit of makeup because I'm on camera a lot, and that is like ring lighting and everything, so it kind of like, uh, puts a lot of emphasis on the skin imperfections um not that i'm not comfortable with it i embrace my skin naturally just the way it is it's beautiful it's amazing i take care of it but still like i love having fun with makeup it's not to hide anything but it's to like play with and look more vibrant so yeah let's get into it um first we're gonna start off let me just start my hair should i tie my hair let me just do that for a minute, I think, yeah. So all the hair is like out of the way. I think, looks good. Uh, we're gonna start off with moisturizer. I use this one. It's Bioderma Ultra Creme Hydration Moisturizing Cream. Um, like really hydrating. So we're gonna apply this. So um, usually when I'm not applying like my makeup or anything, I start off with toner. But I don't know, if I use toner, my makeup does not stay well. So I know if I know I'm going to create some content, I am not going to apply any toner on my face. And I just start off with this really light moisturizer. My skin is very dry. So this moisturizer is like really, really hydrating. And I love it so much. So yeah, I just lightly apply some of it if i need some more i would get some more <laughs> i think i need a little bit more under my eye and i'm feeling here a little bit dryness here and yeah good to go i just love how soothing and therapeutic this feels this is so hydrating, oh my god. It's like a face massage or something. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna go, okay, we're done with the moisturizer. I'm gonna keep it here. Then we're gonna start off with uh, the sunscreen. How can you forget your sunscreen? Never forget your sunscreen. I use the Dr. Shed Haldi and Hyaluronic Sunscreen, SPF 50, PA++++. I apply, sometimes I apply a lot. <laughs> but today I'm gonna apply just enough, not doing too much. I think eye area is very important. Need to apply it everywhere. Okay, so that's my sunscreen. Gonna blend it well. It's gonna blend in well. It looks really white right now, but it takes like a minute or two for it to like fully blend i really love this sunscreen because it's very hydrating it gives me a little bit of a glow but it's not like dewy finish or it's suitable for oily skin as well what is this oh my god i hate when <laughs> sunscreen gets stuck in my hair i just do not like that you guys see the little bit of glow that the sunscreen and the moisturizer has given us i love that so yeah, this is my skincare. And now what I do is I use concealer. This is my Maybelline concealer. Using this for many, many years in the shade 15. So yeah, I'm just gonna go on and apply my uh, concealer under my eyes and just a little bit of it on my nose. And yeah, that's it. 
don't do much and then i don't use any brush beauty blender things like that it, it collects a lot of bacteria so what i do i just go on with my finger and i just blend it in i know it looks crazy right now it looks so <laughs> not my shade right now but just wait for a minute it will blend in and give us a really nice look i honestly love over the top concealer it just gives you that brightness i think it adds a lot of vibrancy can you see and that's why i really love um concealer i don't like foundation honestly every time i wear like i used to wear it in the past i don't even own any foundation anymore it used to feel so cakey and i just don't use it anymore and i'm so happy about it i think i want to do a video on my minimal makeup collection as well because i have very limited amounts of makeup and i think it could be inspiring for people to you know create your own minimal simple makeup routine okay so this was my concealer now we're gonna go on with our blush first we're gonna apply lip balm uh to just prep the lips for a while i am using i've been using this for years like some of the, these things are some my favorite because i've been using them for years and i don't plan on changing them because every time i try to introduce a new product it just doesn't work out so i always end up using the things that i like so i decided that i'm not gonna waste my time and my money on the things that i that are trendy um uh, so i use this himalaya lip balm Wheat gem oil, calcite oil, nourishes lips, prevents drying. It's a really good one. I love it a lot. Especially um, when I am like, you know, preparing myself to apply some lipstick on. So yeah, otherwise for my skincare, I use like at nighttime, I use my Vaseline one. I think if you have watched my skincare uh, video, you might have seen the Vaseline one. Uh, and now we're gonna go on with the blush. I'm gonna use Etude, the viral Korean tint. I think this one is rose, vintage rose, analog rose. I think it's a shade 01. So yeah, I use this. I think it's for lips or something, but I also use it as like my cheek, like a blush. It works really well. It stays for a long period of time because course it's a liquid thing so what i do is i apply three dots here three dots here one on my nose one here and then i like to cover my forehead i'm seeing some sunscreen over here and then yeah i just go crazy on my forehead because it gives me like a good definition then i have this one brush that i actually use i do have some other brushes but this is my most used brush. This is the only brush that I use. Um, it's PAC 214 brush. I think it's the best blush. Uh, sorry, best brush to blend any blush. You can see how it is like super thick. It blends it really well. Uh, and it makes the whole process so much more easier. So what I do is I just blend, blend and blend. As you can see, it just blends into the skin. Sometimes I apply blush with my hands too, but with, you know, the liquid blush, you need a good brush to like, like, I don't know, give it a good finish. So that's what I do. This is my blush. Super light, super natural. And then I use uh, this powder blush. It's by K Beauty. It's sweet salmon. It's beautiful pink shade. I love it. The condition is not that good. I've been using this for like, I think I got this one for six months. This one is for, I've been using this one for six months. Uh, I've finished another one as well, like a year ago, two years ago when I started using. So I'll take some of it. I would like, what do you call it? Just get rid of any extra, any access. And then I would apply it over the liquid blush that I applied again. 
just to give me more color just to like i don't know i just love blush a lot i think it's my favorite part of the makeup is to apply some blush i love applying on my chin a little bit on my nose a little bit on my forehead here and here yes we are done with the blush okay so yeah now the last step is lips that's it that's all i do let me put this so for lips i'm quite confused like i have a lot of lip products more than i need so i have this hype k beauty oh my god lip liner i love this so much i'm completely obsessed with this if i want like a very mature look i would go for this hype by k beauty and then on top i would apply this just look at this packaging you guys it's golden it's very luxurious it just i love this it's my glam the shade name is goddess it says goddess like and the shade is such a beautiful brown let me show you it's such a beautiful brown um so it goes perfectly well with uh the hype k beauty liner so i combine these two when i want to look more put together more mature and like very subtle vibe if i want to look more girly and pinkish i would go for this is a plump shade truth or bear ouch it is a little pinkish and then on top i would apply my favorite 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 lip gloss in the world which is elf lip plumping gloss this gives you such good plump effect it is in the shade sparkling rose so yeah i think i'm gonna go for a little girly vibe i want i'm feeling pink mm, yeah so let's do this so i would apply my lipstick a little bit i'm not applying any lip liner honestly just the little bit of lipstick and then to top it off i would apply my elf sparkling rose lip gloss i love lip glosses so much they just elevate the look this smells so good mm. i love it you guys see that do you guys see that so that's it you guys this is my simple subtle makeup look with very minimal products i don't do anything with my eyebrows i just keep them natural i don't even like i'm in my no mascara era i guess where i'm not even applying any mascara just letting them do their own thing um i think my eyebrows are just okay even if i don't do anything i have really bushy really thick eyebrows so my sunscreen just fell down <clears throat> guys yeah so hope you guys enjoyed this subtle makeup look also you guys i love my water bottle it says kefi um I love the color it's so simple and so cute i bought this bottle and it was like plain but then i'm like i need to add something to it and so i found this pink sparkly stickers and i put them on top it looks really cute and then i put some other other stickers that i got with my journal one of my journal it says eat well and feel good and some strawberries and a beautiful red heart so i love it so yeah, you guys, I really hope you enjoyed this simple, subtle makeup look. Honestly, um, it's the makeup look that I do when I want to not look so glamorous. If I want to like go all the way up, I would also use um, two more things. Like I would add two more things, which is honestly three more things if I want to you all glam like if i'm going to a wedding if i know i'm going to a really nice place and i'm gonna get some instagram worthy pictures or if i'm creating like a full-fledged course that people are gonna watch for their whole life and i want to look like really representable then what i would use 
is of course i'm going to use my moisturizer my sunscreen after that i'm going to use my claire's illuminating bb cream it is such a good one i would use like really small amount it works wonderfully and then on top of that i would apply my bioderma tinted sunscreen i would apply really less amount of it um also the bb cream it comes with spf 40 i believe and the uh, bioderma i think that's the name uh tinted sunscreen i would apply a little bit of it it gives very dewy look it's it's a little bit like a foundation it's like a skin tint but it also has sun protection so i love it so those are the two things i would use as like my foundation which i'm not used today because i don't i'm not feeling like full glam look right now and then um if i want to glam it up more the third product that i would add is uh, some k beauty compact powder i do not like powder on my face but uh, that powder really helps especially during summer like as you can see my under eye uh, they seem a bit oily and like a little bit too moist but when i add the powder like under eye powder the k beauty one is so good i love the ingredients i'm obsessed with k beauty um so yeah the, i would add the powder so it would add even more brightness i think i would also add four like i just said two and now i'm coming to four i think the fourth product that i would add is some uh eyeshadow i have this golden highlighter that is like my highlighter my eyeshadow my everything that way my um makeup collection is very small and very minimal and just exactly what i want instead of unnecessary stuff so yeah you guys it was four products that i would add if i want to glam it up if i want to like glow so much and if i want to look like really really vibrant right now i'm just like going for that subtle very natural no makeup makeup look so yeah i really hope you enjoyed love you so much talk to you very soon bye i'm gonna leave the links of the products below so if you want to buy them you can buy them or you can just you know use the products that you already have um and create your own unique look